Kick her out. Oh God. I could stand here all day. Really? Is this yeah, the kind of... Yeah, he will plant for hours if you let him. No, it's cool. I won't just stop. And uh, he doesn't like being fat with, so he's, he bit me. Those are just a few few clips of what's in store in this with this video. So I hope you enjoy it. Lots of learning again uh, and some funny bits as well. So yep, yeah, see you on the other side of the video. Gorgeous day today. Yeah. Today, it's Saturday. It's good. March nineteenth. March nineteenth. Yes. Ring any bells? Yes. Anniversary. <laughs> yes, wedding anniversary. Right. How yeah. many years? It's a lot. It's a long <laughs> time. I'm Forty. Thirty nine. Wow, I was close. Damn. 1983. Oh, wow. Next year's 14. It's Ruby. Oh, dear. What a long time. Ruby, ne Ruby next year. Is it? Yeah, Ruby. What do we get Anyone? for that? What? What do we get for Ruby? <laughs> well, hopefully I'll get a little Ruby ring or something. Hey, get back to the horse thing. Like, well, we can have a, a Ruby... Uh... So, basically, what you're saying is... It's our wedding anniversary and it hasn't stopped us going out to a booking. We're still going out to a booking. No bookings next week though because we've got the, the ranch, ranch day. days, uh, Saturday and Sunday. And then clinics from then on, isn't it? So I'll be going out to, you know, a few less horses I have to. This one today, Tanya, uh, I've just wrote on my hand, K-T, so it's K-T. <laughs> <laughs> I forget so many names, I go to so many people. but. This horse, all I've seen is a little clip you showed me yesterday. Yeah. A little bit of an expression on the horse, you know, not too enjoying what what was, you know, being caught being in the leading, asked, but yeah. not. Just, so we go in, we, you know, Tanya booked it in, it is local. And we're gonna go, I think one of the first things I'm gonna do is ask Katie to, to just lead the horse around. I want to see a little bit more, really, because I haven't seen enough from, from what I was sent. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're about, what, we're about 25 minutes time from no, here? I don't think, 10 minutes. Uh, we're in the, our hometown at the moment Haverford still. Haverford West. Haverford West. There is actually, yeah. uh, that's a new skateboard, oh. in, uh, skate, skate park. park. But if you look here, yeah, you there's a real eyes, old you ruin. You keep your eyes on the road and I'll look at the yeah. ruin. The ruin is amazing. It's a, uh, it's... Well, can you see it there? Yeah, yeah. That's really old, that is. I mean... Well, what is it? I don't... Do you know what? <laughs> I don't actually know what that is. But I will find out, actually. I think we go past it enough and take it for granted, I feel a don't we? I feel a clip coming in here with the... A clip? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I feel a about clip. that? Yeah. Right. I feel um, a clip coming in. I think in. we learn more about our um, homeland through doing these videos than anything, don't we? Because yeah. we do research a little bit. I know. But it's um, an absolutely gorgeous day today. This so. is an amazing day. Amazing. Spring All the daffodils sprung. are Spring out. Spring has sprung. All the daffodils suddenly have appeared. Yep. And with it comes all the little midges. We, are, we do have a lot of midges here. And someone there on the way somewhere in their trailer. Yeah. Uh, another eye for Williams. Eye for Williams trailers are the most common, common here, I think. Uh, we do have rice as well. There's a few rices about. But... Uh, yeah. Alrighty then. <laughs> We're here. It's very windy. Oh, what huh? a windy day, isn't what it? What a windy day. We still haven't got the sock for the phone. I recognise I've been here once before. Mm. Yeah. That's a beautiful day, were we? But we are going to dip. So you didn't have the wind? We don't have hardly any wind. Yeah. But we've got midges. I bet you haven't got the windies as bad as 
Uh, get a bit closer so I can get in. Yeah. We'll only put the good bits in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cut me out then. We put my bad bits in, but we never put anyone else's bad bits in. Right, go, can you go a bit closer, please? Because I can't get you all in. Right, it's okay. Yeah, that's fine. So, Katie <laughs> uh, and Esther. I should write your name as well, I mean. <laughs> On the clinics we're do, going to be doing, we're going to have like, uh, name, you know, like badges. name badges. Because I'm terrible with names. But, uh, yeah. Actually, I'm ch changing again, sorry. Because I'm like... Yeah, that's better. That's better. So, Kate has got quite a big... He's top. about 14 white. Oh, he look bigger. Yeah, he does look big. He's uh, supposed to be 15 ounces. Right, OK. <laughs> so, so, you sent me a video. And to be honest, that I get, I have to go to, I mean, they're pretty, pretty yeah. you know, they're troubles. You're telling me he, that was a good day? That was a good day. Right, oh, okay. So, if there was something you really wanted me to know, in your mind. Just, just to teach him savannas, really. He, so, is he in his I'm going to cut it, I'm oh, sorry, I'm coming in a bit because I can still hear the wind, so yeah. if you can move yeah. that way a bit. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey. hey, you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he he won't go back when you ask him to. Right, he, he won't he won't give you any space. He won't with me. Mm, that's a big big um, one. Yeah. He bit me the other week. I was doing stuff with him and he just bit me. What like uh, he got tapping up or? No, I he tapped, been having a bridal fitting and uh, he doesn't like being fat with, so he he bit me. You know, oh, hard. Uh, you well, felt it. I got I managed to get away from him quick enough. Does he um, pin his ears quite a bit? Yes. Oh, he does, like okay. When, especially when you um, lead him in from the field and you can feel right. him behind you. You, you. you know there's no ulcer problems and things like that. You've had no, all of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you're quite happy yeah. uh, with that side of it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I can say uh, it didn't really look no. bad, but I've got a feeling yeah. there is going to be some stuff Yeah, he, he did go for us in the field the other day. He threatened with his mouth. Yeah. We talked him off and then he went back with his bum. Okay. So it's as the way he chooses, really. It's going to be, yeah. you know. I think it'll just be a case of, if you're if you okay with it, me watching you for a little yeah. while. Yeah, yeah. See how things are going. What's he like when he comes in? Is he fretting or is he all right? Or? Oh, he seems to be okay. So there's some good there. Yeah, there is some you good know, there. That, He's not totally some... bad, Tony, but there is some bits that I need to work. Okay. He plants. Well. He, oh, he does. He plants. Sticks his feet. Yeah. 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 He just like going into the stable. So he's like, yeah. yeah. To and go he, into the stable. Yeah. yeah. He did it on arrival. Um, and it was forty-four minutes later. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got him to move. Yeah. He literally <laughs> sat in the hedge. Oh. And he did. He did move. Oh. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. So there's a few things. Right. Okay. Well, if we follow you out then. Yeah. And we'll just watch you bring me these. Is he? Is this? Is this no stables in the next. Yeah, and then pop him in the stable, and then we'll have another chat and yeah. see what we do. We'll probably go to school. Okay, and then, yeah, and yeah. You don't want me to address the ride inside of it, it's mainly the handling. The handling, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. if we can watch you then, if that's okay. Yeah, 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 okay. He's right at the top. Who's a trek? Yeah. <laughs> right, I'll cut this off then a second till. Right, we're off to catch the horse. Go! It is very windy. I still haven't got the thing for my phone because I don't know what to get. There he is.
very windy. I need to get this on film. But did you see how everyone stuck his feet? You turned him. But I looked at his hindquarters and I get, got him disengaging his hindquarters. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? And, and he's, it's his choice. He's got to prefer to go forward than do that. Yeah, yeah. So whenever he sticks, obviously we're going to do a load of ground and get it so it's easier for you. But when he sticks, you've got three seconds. Right. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, if you're just still there, you, you, it's no good at all. He just realises that. So for him to connect it, that the pull on the lead rope connects with the front feet moving, yeah. three seconds goes by, that's it. So you're there doing it. He's got to know that that feel, when he stops his feet and that pulls there, one thousand to the, you've got to unstick his feet. So if you noticed, I it went, and then I went to his hind quarters. So he's unsticking his feet, unsticking his feet. And as soon as he does it again, one person, you've got to start unsticking his feet again. Yeah. Now that may, may mean using a flag, it may, may mean using a stick, whatever it is. But we've got to get him more fluent in it. So you've got some tools. So it's his, it's going to be his choice yeah. to rather go forward than disengage all the time. Because it's easier for him to do that than after, with his lump, do that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. You've got to be within three seconds. So that's exactly what I did there. Unstuck him. But also, you're holding him here. Now, he's moving you, and you don't know he's doing it. Yeah? It's because we've got him here. Now, eventually, you can have him here. But for now, he he knows he's moving. You're, you're missing it. He's moving you. He knows exactly what he's doing. It's not the way... <laughs> It's not the way their minds work. It's all about who moves who. So we've got to move his feet, he never moves ours. And that's what's happening. You've got him here, and you're doing this all the time, and he knows he's just pushing you around. And that goes really deep in there. Yeah. Stop that for a second, Tony. I just want to show... Yep. Now, we've, we've brought him in. What's his name? Jimmy. Jimmy. And I was, I was just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> I know his name. Okay. I remember all the names. Do you know what? Like... I've got that many horse names <laughs> running through my head. Reggie, Ronnie, Reggie, Jimmy. Ronnie, this, that, yeah. The crazy. Uh, so, yeah. yeah, the craze. You've seen that? Have you seen that one? No. You haven't no, seen Reggie, that video. I, I nicknamed one. It, it was uh, Reggie. <laughs> and I said, oh, it's Reggie Craig. <laughs> this one was. Yeah. <laughs> but 
I'm seeing, I try and concentrate on like, the blood in horses as well, you know? And the fact that we just brought him in, he didn't want to come in, I kind of manipulated him in here. Look at him. I can see, you know, you've got something good here to work with. He's not fretting. No, no, he's, he's, he's pretty good like that. You know, on his own, would you agree? This, oh, absolutely, the, yeah. the, You know, I, I, I'm thinking that's great. Has he got one blue and a brown? No, he's got half, uh, half, and half. half and half. Yeah. Right. Uh, now, you said he doesn't back up from you or anything. No, so, I, if I went in there now, I'd have to push him out of the way. Oh, now look, never ever, if you want this to work out, never use your physical strength on a horse. It completely... Doesn't work. Well, it, what does it tell them? He's, I mean, he's not that tall, but I would say he is about 1,300 pound in weight, okay? Average quarter horse is 11 or 12. So, he, you know, he's probably more than that. Look at him, Dad. Mm. He's like... His neck weighs as much as some horses. Right. <laughs> so if you if you push, are you talking to me about your pushing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're pushing. As soon as you push, he's gonna push against me. Well, he'll know yeah. straight away because they're masters of perception. He'll know you're putting some some effort in. And he, in his mind, he, he knows you're just nothing to him. So I would never ever use physical. A mistake I used to make all the time, and a lot of people still do. You're pushing on a horse, or you're trying to push them around at the back end, or whatever you're doing, or push them back with a halter. You should never, ever, ever do that, okay? So you've got to do it with tools, maybe tools, not to cause pain. No. But you've got to start with the fact that you should be able to open this door, and he should move away, okay? The fact that if he's ever pressing on this door, does he ever do that with yeah. you? Okay. The fact that that is, he, they know nothing about it at all. In their mind, they're pushing, he, he, he's pushing on, on us. So like my horses, I'll go to my door. They know to, he's coming here. See what I mean? So how would you do that? I mean, um, like if I show you now, if I've got my binding stick, where's that? On the floor behind. On the floor there. I would probably suggest a different halter for now. You can go back, once everything's good, you can, you can go back to, but this all starts, this doesn't just happen there or in the arena, it's all the time when you're with your horse. Everything has got to be done, you know, with quality. Yeah. Okay, so we'll put this on in a second. Sorry. Okay, sorry. Mm -hmm. So, if you open that door now, I'm not going to ask you to do it because now I'm involved. Yeah, I want to try yeah. and get this. Okay, so you'd open the door and he would push on you. Uh, yeah, and he, he won't get out of my way. Okay, do you, do you look at him? Well. Do you look at his face? Yeah, I do. I would, if you want this to work out, I yeah. would, for now, don't look at him. Don't make this personal. I've no, noticed a little bit in that clip you sent. He was a bit pinny with his ears. Yeah. You're kind of looking at him a bit. All you should be interested in, and all I'm going to be interested in with him, is where those go, yeah. where the feet go, okay? So I'll, I'm going to completely change it with him now. I'm going to look at his feet. I want my relationship to do with my space, which will be a, a, a metre around me. He only comes in there if I say, because he'll separate that out and know the difference. But I want, I want to control his feet. He can never control mine. So that's what I'm going to look at. So what I'm saying is when you go in with him, don't look at him. You're just interested in those moving away from you. So you can go in. Yeah? yeah. Agreed? Yeah. So we'll see how this pans out now. So I'm going to open it. I'm going to look at his feet. Okay. I'm looking at I'm going to tut. And I'm going to just ask him to back off me. Right? Now, this is a Boeing stick. Oop. It's not a whip. Mm. So it doesn't hurt. Oop, trying to get you yeah. in. Cut your head off. You tell me off. So I have just... I asked him first that you've got to start where you want to finish, else you'll never have lightness or any nothing nice. So I started with looking at his feet and I tutted a little bit because tut is the best verbal command I've ever known for backing. I don't use cluck because cluck is forward. Forward. Yeah, so it helps them. And you, you could probably. I, I 
I use the back. Okay, as long as you're consistent, but I found, because cluck, most people use a cluck for forward of the feet, if you change the cluck, it's still related to the feet more than back, back, back. That's what I found, but a lot of people, they shush, some people whistle, but you've got to do something different than forward. And it has a good effect in their brain, and that will help in the saddle. If your back, back, back's working, only ever use it when you look at the feet, okay? So, would you say he's, would he usually be a little bit more forward? Oh yeah, he, he does, he, he, he comes into my space, he's... Uh... But all I'm saying is, is that normal? Is that a little bit better than you, normal? That's be much better. Yeah, because I don't know, do I? <laughs> I haven't, never. So, you know, Yeah. that makes sense what I've just done. Yeah. I was very particular about his feet and my space. So I would do that every time. Now, if you're consistent, like, like um, you said, maybe sometimes you're not consistent enough. Now, all I did then, he had one foot unrequested. Did you all see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. I nearly missed it because I was so engrossed in talking. Um, and I, but I just about caught it and sent it back. That will have a massive effect on his mind. Oh, I can't go into it, you know. So I start, I'm starting to become the alpha already without... You know, it's, 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 it works so well. We move their feet, they don't move ours. So I'm quite happy with that now. He hasn't, I <laughs> thought he might. Well, did you? Uh, you know, I, I thought he would. So that, that's pretty good. Okay, so we'll put this halter on him. Um, so what? I said I told you you'd be an angel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, it's also as important that I'm kind to him as well as, you know, uh, firming up with his feet. Okay, so, how did you take this off? Did Just, you take yeah, it off? Yeah, Right. Now, if he get take... Now, did you see? Mm -hmm. he, he thought about coming out. So I didn't miss it and I looked at his feet and asked him to back up. So you've got to be consistent about unrequested forward motion. Forward motion. You've got to <laughs> so there you go. Okay. So, so I'm going to try and get him to sort of help me a little bit putting this on. See if I can get him to just tip a little bit towards me. But noticing, you know, everything with quality, even putting the halter on, rather than, you know, all over his ears, I would try and make even putting the halter on a little bit of a nicer experience for him. Just er everything with, with as much quality as you can. Um, Look at his eyelashes. And with, with this, this with a neck this big, you want to do as much flexing as you can. Now, you've probably noticed He'll reach round to a yeah. fly or something. Yeah. So he can, he, he can flex and it'll make the ride so much better. But a lot of people think because the necks are so thick that they don't flex as well. But they so can... as I'm just explaining about how flexible these big, these, these big built uh, coloreds and any big built horse really with thick necks, how they really can be flexible and really train quite lightly with it, which a lot of people sort of don't don't think they can and as i said it i thought about a horse that i had oh this is this is a bit of grainy footage now grainy old footage from probably 25 to 30 years ago and i was given this this horse if i could catch if i could catch her she was a youngster unbroken anyway i managed to catch her i managed to get her home and i got and i, and I, I did a foundation breaking and sort of kept this little horse uh, for, for quite a while as our own but did end up sell, selling her and funnily enough me and Tanya were out the other day and we came across the property that bought her all those years ago and we thought oh she must be long gone now and you know what she was in the paddock uh, I don't you know she was in the paddock she's still there we called her over she didn't come over but um, yeah so I've just added this little footage little bit of footage only, only a few seconds really uh, just showing, you know, where we sort of got to with her, and she was a she was a great great horse. Her name was Hippie Chick. So I hope you enjoy these couple of seconds. And there's a left foot. 
foot, a right foot, a left foot, a right foot, a left foot, a right foot, a left foot, a right foot. So she, I'm releasing. Next up, fast or slow. Um, she'll bring this front end around. Beautiful. She'll, she'll work off the leg and side. Well, but, uh, front end really 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 connected um, in a real good way there and when she gives really nicely but this is the sort of thing that you'd have to continue when she does something right for me so she'll follow this bit through her front end she's got a beautiful soft feel and that's foundation that's feel if I look that way she goes that way stop my body she stops I ask for the back up, she backs up, so the foundation is there, she lowers her head to relax, take my legs off her, she stops, the bit, it's there, it's there. Uh, before I take him and, and do some groundwork with him, I'm just showing him here that I'm a good guy. You know, I'm a good guy. I'm not going to hurt him. Uh, I'll be nice to him. Uh, but I'm going to... Now there. Right, so I didn't push on him. Right, you see the foot there? Yeah. I'm going to take a pressure here. And at one or two seconds, I'm going to go sideways with it. Not push, right? So I'm looking at the foot. So I put a bit of pressure. Now I'm going to go... Keep that going. And I just had one try there. So you see how I went? Yeah. That way? By pushing on it, it they kind of, he's probably used to not having to respond too well to that. So, so that foot there, okay. Uh, little, a little tiny push back there, and then I'm gonna look at the foot and touch, and I'm gonna move that side to side. So one second. Now, the longer he doesn't go, the better for his mind, because he, he has to work it out, okay? If he works out, if he looks out there, I need him here, right? So if he looks there now, it'll give me an opportunity to just bump him back till he's, till he's with me, there. That make sense? There, until he's with me. Now, I will sit here for an hour and do this, get his attention on from me. That's where he has a release, not there, there, not there, there, not there. See, I love this when this happens. There, not there. One spot there, do you see the spot? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, so I'm gonna ask his hind quarters just to move around here. He disengaged quite well, stop. Oh, that's nice. And then consider me, not anything else. Thank you. I'll just adjust that. You'll see these things on video for you to practice. Yeah. You'll forget a lot of this. Yeah, yeah. But just lit. I, I only want you to do things that are simple. Yeah. Look, so there. He's with me here. Okay, yeah, do you want to? Just gonna get, just get the poo okay. out. because it's a bit noisy in here. Yeah. When he's genuinely frightened, you've got to let him, you know, check it out. Yeah. But when he's not, and he's just blocking me out, like he's not so much now, is he? There he is, now he knows where to come back to. It's a great exercise to yeah. do. So you, as the handler, become more together when you've got the equipment on him. All right, so there, he's done that. He's wondering what it is, but he's not frightened. Don't worry about that. Thank you. So you see how I'm making it, you know, for him to follow you out of that field, he's got to be with you. Yeah. When you've got him. So that's good. Now I've got a little spot there. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. 
before he would have put his head, now he's back. <laughs> yeah? So we've got a nice, that's better than in the field, but it was blowy. So that's nice. Now stop. Oh, straight away. Now that foot the left. Now the right. Thank you. So this, now, because he did that, because he did that, the important bit of this is now. Now, with all us just not getting onto him, not making it anything, because that's where there's something in it for him now. He just did that. Now he's just having nothing. Weird, isn't it? But that's there's something in it for him. By going back. Now, if that comes forward, now that's great for us because. Now I'm asking nicely. Now I would have bumped a little bit more there or used my volume stick if you'd have said no at three seconds. He has three seconds to, to respond to something. But always start where you want to end up. Um, it's quite stiff on this, this, this thing isn't level. Yeah. Stable. But I have noticed well, there's two reasons. One, ar around us, he's used to, um, he's been hand fed in the past probably. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, it's quite common. And the other thing is, front shoes only. Um, is there a reason you do that? Is it a financial thing, probably? No, but just because we don't do an awful lot. Okay. So just... If you were going to do a lot of road work and you're not putting boots on the back, you get an extremely front-end heavy horse. Extremely. And I know I've broken enough horses with front shoes and not to know. Uh, so there, straight up in there. Uh, do you understand why, why that would be? Because it's less painful to pull them in. Right, after a while, they start getting sore on the back than the front. And a lot of people make the mistake with a lot of road work of putting just fronts on, and they get more and more and more front ending. And then you don't get natural turns, you don't get natural stops. Um, I, I made a mistake years ago, I used to shoot a lot of fronts, and then found out from some very good horse people. Right, unrequested forward motion. I'm gonna ask him here to, to thank you. And now, the, the more that happens, the better for all concerned. Because unless he keeps doing it, we can't correct it. No, no. All right, so eventually you would just look at the feet, do that, and he goes, yes, don't touch me with a stick. Don't, don't get on to me, I'll do it. As long as you're consistent. Okay, it's all about us as owners and handlers, their lives determined by what human they got, isn't it? They have no, would you agree? Yeah. So their whole life is determined by, by their owners. So it's up to us to... to same to as a child with here. parents. No child, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. it's the same thing. And dogs. Yeah, yeah. and dogs, yes. yeah. It's, it's simply, yeah, yeah. Dogs. simply that. Now, if there's one thing I can do for you today, we're gonna to do a load of groundwork in a minute. You know why I've been, I'm just, now I'm gonna try, now, did you see him set his weight back then? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. he's already thinking back, there's that pile behind him, so we can't really <laughs> back there. But the fact that he was thinking yeah, it. Not that. <laughs> yeah. If you can reward the slightest try, the try there was the fact that he thought about I'm gonna come in here now, because what? a few American viewers have yeah. said why do you have it backed up around the stall and none in the middle? Well, it's, be it's because well, we it's been, know, because, yeah, yeah, because, because of the, yeah. the, 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 they let it dry out. Right? Yeah, that's right. And then at night yeah. they put it back on again. They stall slightly differently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so one thing is getting his attention if it completely keeps just going away from you. Mm. you we, what, the, the, the hours of the day that we're with them, we want them with us. Like when we ride them, we want their, their, them with us, don't we? So that's something you can do. It's just, I'm not pulling him. I'm just tapping and, and but the timing has got to be right. When he connects with you, but try not to look. When I do it, I'm not looking directly into his eyes and making it personal. I'm just sort of look, looking at the peripheral vision of his head. Uh, if you want to move something, look at his feet at, all the time, okay? So your relationship now is with? His feet. Yeah. And think about it, if we ride them, what do we want to move? The feet. feet. Left, right, forward, back. It's all about the feet, okay? So our connection with our mind and our equipment relates to the feet. 
And when you get that to a stage where you can ride the feet, it took me years to ride the feet, and I still only ride the front feet, to be honest. A lot of my masters, they ride all the feet. You know, uh, I, I, I still think front feet. I'm kind of getting to where I'm occasionally getting the back feet as well. So there, you see how easy this is happening now? So we, I lost contact with him for a second there, and he just tried that little push on me. I said, no, 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 no. I, but, but because he went back quickly, that's it. There's something in it for him. Oh, yeah, so just leave me alone now. So, uh, so I ride the feet. So, so oh. front feet, I'm thinking <laughs> left, right, slow the left down, slow oh, no. the right down. And then when I turn, I think of the rein, the right rein, connects into the right shoulder reach. Okay? So that's how I think. But a lot of horsemen, they ride all, all the four. They think about the hindquarters coming under. To, uh, so, yeah, it, it, it equates to everything. Okay? The same with if you want to stop him and he won't stop. That three-second rule counts for everything you do. So if you sat down and you've pulled, you know, whoa, right? Woe Shamrock, have you seen that? Anyone seen that? Oh, Woe yeah, Shamrock. The, cli the clip. Have you not seen oh, Woe yes. Shamrock? <laughs> He's a guy on a horse. I feel a clip coming on. I feel a clip coming on. Yeah. Whoa. Shamrock. Whoa. Sake. Whoa. Shamrock. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Sham. Oh, Jesus. I had to put that little kip in, guys. But just to let you know, he the guy was okay. Um, he, he was okay. And I've seen him being given a lesson on the same horse by by uh, a coach ever since and having a bit of a laugh about it. So, yeah, he is okay. It's the funniest thing. Fortunately, it was all right. When he actually does come yeah. off, you think, yeah. you think he's dying in there. But he buys his race horse and he's on there and he's got like 20 million views, this thing, hasn't he? And he's, going, he's on his own and he's trotting around. Good shamrock, good shamrock. And then suddenly, <laughs> shamrock goes. And he, 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 his head comes up, whoa, shamrock. And he says, whoa, shamrock. <laughs> for, for, about, <laughs> for about a minute. And he's galloping full on down this lane, right? No, I mean full gallop. It's a racehorse, full gallop. <laughs> and he's, please, shamrock. And he's crying in the end, isn't he? And it, right at the end of this track, the horse turns. So I'm looking at that now. I'm he can hear it. horses. Right. So. Hello. So there. I'm just going to get his attention again. That's a great time to do it. That's a great time to do it. You're on me. Not, not them. There. Now eventually, you did this enough. When you, oh, another. So even at the times when you would have him so preoccupied when you're out riding and there's stuff going on. If you do it enough, they're more with you. Mm. You can get them back with you like there, a tap, now he's with me. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. But yeah, like that. So yeah, I'm just adjust this up again. <laughs> so everything made sense so far, yeah. sort of. Yeah. yeah. So we'll take him into school now, and then we'll do some groundwork. Now, are you okay with me firming up a little bit, William? Yeah, yeah. Because I will have to. Yeah, fine. Not, not hurt him. No, fine but, with me. But um, now, now the horse is here, he's, he's pretty much staying with me more. Any, any opportunity where he does something that you don't want is a good opportunity. You know, never think, oh, he's, he's moving his feet where I don't want him to. That's great, because anything like that, you've got to work through to your advantage. Okay, so there. So I've done that a lot in front of you because it's something you can easily do in here. You can easily take the hindquarters round, but I'll get you to do that when I've got that more fluent yeah, in the yeah. school. Okay, so now I'm going to take him, take him round to the school. But what happens out there should be no different. To in here. Yeah, and he he will think it does mean something different. Okay, that's what. No, that was an unrequested forward motion with that foot, so I just sent it back. 
So I would sit here, if he was my horse, first thing I'd be doing is a couple of hours in here. And just, just talking away to people or whatever, and just be aware you need his attention and you don't want those feet coming towards you. Yeah. Unrequestedly, because yeah. if they do, he'll start thinking he moves into your space and then he'll block you and go nowhere for you. All right? Okay, I think that's a good look. Yeah. Yeah. Do you agree? It's a nice look. Yeah. Nice oh, do you agree? Yeah? yeah. He's, he's, he's nicer. Do you agree? Yeah. None of mine would stand quietly. Like mm? None of mine would stand that quietly on their own. Oh, they would? They would. If initially, you move. Initially. Oh, well, well, if they move, then move them. Yeah. Pick a number between 20 and 25 and then disengage them that many times till they want to stop and say, if you want to move again while we're connected, and we'll do the other way. Eventually they'll say, I ain't moving. And when they don't, there's something in it for them. Does that make sense? You've got to make it, right, the biggest thing is, the biggest breakthrough for me with all this is you've got to make it the horse's idea. It could be the horse's idea not to do, you'll never make them do, never make them do nothing. Or st you'll never make them stop anything. You've got to make them want to change. Because he doesn't know what's right or wrong for you. He doesn't know. Only what feels good to him is right. And they always test space. If you look at them in the field, you think they're playing half the time, they're not. They're, they're all, it's all about space. Who owns space? Who owns that bit of grass? Who owns that feed? So it's whoever moves, whoever. That's the way they work. And the one who's top dog will always move other horses. So they'll walk past them like that and the other horse will move. Yield. And uh, you can't yield to him. Right, okay. But you can't push on him either because if you push on him, he knows you've, not, you've got no strength. So, yeah, so, okay. Come on so, then, let's go outside let's go. then. Um. So we have come out here, and in, in here, I'm going to stop. Oh. I'm going to say, don't worry about that. Back, back, back. Thank you. No, don't worry about him. Me. Yeah. See the little spot there? Where? So okay guys, this is my first attempt at a voiceover. So I'll do my best now to sit to see to see how uh, uh, you know I do with it. The wind was just too bad. So we'll go straight to the video now. Now I'm looking here. I take the flag out, my extendable flag, which I've got in my back pocket. Um because he was so pushy, I knew he'd be, he to offer something new to him that he would respond to a flag a little bit better. Now, it's really important that I get him to move out of my space by walking towards him here because he really is pushy, uh, pushes Katie, his owner, pushes her a lot, uh, won't never back away from her. Here, he's getting a little bit 
uh, confused. He just doesn't think he should back away. He's not used to backing away, especially outside. Now here he tries to block me and go around me. And it's really important right now that I make sure I'm consistent and get his feet freed up, which he did there just momentarily. He straightened up and his feet came loose. That's what I was looking for. So I was consistent there, even though he experimented with a lot. Now look at that, guys. Immediately, he knew I was serious about my space. And I'd already proved to him that I was a good guy, really, that I wasn't going to hurt him from the stable work. You know, in the stable just a few minutes before. Look at that. Uh, straight away, just that little breakdown we had. We had the little breakthrough with his feet at the end. And it worked in my favour. Check him out there. Stops lovely. Backs away. He has a high head carriage there. But that's something that after quite a few sessions, maybe a week's worth of sessions, the head lowers. Um, remember, I'm only there for, for a visit. So you get that little raise of the head. I'm looking at his feet. He's freeing his feet up. Um, not where you'd want to end up. But I'm putting a seed in there to get his feet freed off and to move out of a human space. Here, I am disengaging his hindquarters, so I'm going to go towards his hindquarters. And as soon as he disengages right there, I walk away. So he knows he's done the right thing because I've took the pressure off. Check him up again. Yes, he stopped, backed about my space. He's not pinning his ears like he does with Katie's owner quite a lot. Um... You know, he's quite attentive towards me. Definitely the little bit of work, getting his attention on me in the stables, helping because he's kind of with me a lot. And he'd never, ever been in this arena before. He'd never been in there. And he was still staying hooked on with me. So there, oh, yeah, I checked the stop again. That was fine. Uh, check the stop again. Yes. See, feel free, his feet up. Yes. Check for a disengagement. So I've took his motor away there. Walked away, said, there you go, that's good. Oh, his feet freed up, lovely there. Uh, another disengagement on the side they don't usually like. And he just backed off a little bit there. So I was quite pleased with that. When something happens, which is good, it always helps to give a little break. Um, here he's feeling quite relaxed, lowering his head. Um, kind, of, kind of okay there, not pushing into me. So I have a little break with him there, just to let him think about things. His head's feeling quite loose, um, laterally. Everything just felt good. He's good looking his eyes there. You know, that, that's good. You know, that, that's something working out between us, even though I've had to firm up a little bit to get his feet freed up and to get them into his mind about how important uh, my space is, my little bit of geography. I, mean, I don't ask for much. But it's very important, especially for the horse's mind, to start to respect uh, uh, and feel better around you. So here, I'm picking up my flag again. I think I'm going to do feet forward now, um, because this is very important. Because he bulks and, and sticks and plants, it's important for the flag or buying stick to mean feet forward. So I'm, I'm going to offer feet forward here. And nothing's happening, obviously. Then I raise my flag and say, I'm serious. Now, it did startle him a little bit, which is what I wanted, because he's so dull to pressure, really, that now he knows I'm serious. But he got rid of it by, by moving his feet forward. So there, right, he's gone forward with his feet. I didn't have to do so much there with the flag. So now I'll ask again. But I always ask first with a suggestion now, there's a little bit of... Did you notice there he just went forward a little bit? Didn't really... He just lost track with me a second, so I backed him up a little bit. So now, I'm going to ask for forward again, I think, for if I can remember. I've done a couple of horses since this, so I'm trying to remember what I did. Um, but while I'm talking, my arm's down. I'm not suggest. Now I'm suggesting for... Now, look at that, guys. Did you see there? He said, no, you don't have to put that flag near me. I understand now. So you always have to start where you want to end up. All I want is to be able to put my arms for suggestion and a horse goes. My horses do. I just suggest they go. Um, but you've got to come through with something meaningful. And that's what the, the flag is. It's very meaningful to a horse. Um, you know, it's the flapping plastic. And really, 
that once they realise what they need to do with the feet, they get rid of the flag because you drop the flag, the fl flag comes out of play. So here I'm asking, and yes, he made it. He thought about it. I was just about to uh, lift my flag, and he he made it, and then I didn't have to. So there, now there you go. He's I just suggested, and he, I mean he's, he's he's walking around me, nice with a nice bend, but I am in the eye that he prefers uh, people on. You know, he's bending nicely, feels relaxed, he's backing up there. Um, look at that, lifted the flag forward with his feet. That's how he got rid of the flag, because I dropped the flag. So that's going really, really well. Um, I don't think he's done a lot. Look at that, backs up nicely, starting to really, re you know, um, get connected with me and knowing the language I'm I'm using with him is his feet now look there i wanted to go on his right hand side and he was a little bit didn't his head came up he didn't really like me going in that right eye so and again there i've stopped and he's tipping his head a little bit to the right to keep me in the left eye because remember we do everything on the left hand side so there yeah now he's gone okay around there um on the eye now look what he's done he's look guys do you see him there He's turned his head. Look, he, he's saying, no, I prefer you on the left. And I'm saying, no, let's get balanced. I want you on the right. So that's evident there that really in his mind, he felt more comfortable. Look, I've lifted the flag there. He's trotted. He's a little bit not sure in this eye. So that's where we have to balance horses up a little bit better and probably lead lead um, Jimmy, I think it was, was it Jimmy. Lead Jimmy on the... Right hand side, look, he's put me in the left eye again. You can see it there. Um, he's saying, no, I, I want you on this left. I'm happier there. Uh, so, yeah, it definitely needs uh, to be more balanced. So a lot more work on the right eye definitely uh, will, ha will help in a lot of ways, actually. Uh, so And, of course, the riding, it helps the riding if you get them balanced because I almost guarantee you won't turn as nice to the right being as he, you know, he wants you in that in that left eye, really, so he feel more com confident with you up above him, but with you in the left eye. So I think I'm explaining that now to Katie. Uh, yeah, I think I am. So we we'll just have to wait a second now. Uh, I don't. I, I still don't. I don't know if this this is working. It's saying it is, but I'll check check in a little while. I might have to redo it all. Now, did you see that? That was unrequested forward motion again i lost contact with him a little bit and then he just thought oh i'll just check so he searched there and thought oh i'll just just walk through him but it didn't work i i was onto it i backed him up there was nothing in it for him so that's where you have to be so consistent so now i'm asking for feet forward again feet yeah got feet forward but you see how the flag drops down there now i've asked him to face me which he's done i looked at his hindquarters now feet forward please Yes, feet forward. Now he's getting a little bit better in that eye. I'm noticing a different expression. Uh, still mm, still wanted me in that left eye for a second, but now he's balanced. He's looking at me with, uh, pretty much straight on. Now I've gone back. Um, so let me think what I was going to do next. I think I'll do leading to driving next, I think. But um, we'll see. But it's so windy, guys. There's no way you would have heard it. And... Uh, We'd have hundreds of people, um, quite rightly, saying, oh, my ears are bursting with the wind noise. So maybe this is a good way of um, uh, of do, doing it with the wind noise, doing a voiceover now and again like this. I know Tanya's bought some some things for the phone, but they don't work that great. They improve it a little bit. But uh, let's see where we go now with it. So, yeah, so... Now I'm taking the hind end around. They've disengaged. Lovely. Back up again. Um, the left, the right, the left. Lovely. So I'm happy with that. That was after a little break then. Now I think here I'm going to do the leading to driving exercise. That's what they do in the wild. They'll, they'll, they'll follow and they'll be driven. So I was leading then. Now I'm driving him on, on the eye he prefers at the moment. So now I've gone to leading him so now i'm leading because this this work establishes our leadership 
So now I'm going to drive him from behind, which is what a stallion or a lead mare would do. Now I'm asking him to follow, because that's what they do. They follow and they lead. Uh, they, 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 they follow and they're pushed. So here he's following. Now I'm driving him. Now I'm pushing him along. Now I've turned it to leading. So you see there, leading. And this helps a horse really lead up on a loose loose rein much better than one you're having to drag. Um, it's not the only solution to that, but it's one that can help because I'm keeping quite a loose rein now and he's starting to follow. You see that? There's a little loop in the rein there. He's starting to, to, to pick this up. Yeah, follow him and then he'll push me. So there he's following. Follow, that's leading. Now he's dri being driven. Now I'm driving him. There. And I could... You know, I, 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 I've I done this with horses and I've done it for an hour until they're really getting good with it. Now, there you go. He stopped. He was a little bit forward there. He's demanded pretty much that I'm in the left eye again. Now I'm going to start doing the leading to driving on the eye that he's not so keen on. I mean, he isn't drastic with that other eye like some horses uh, can be really bothered. Um, again there, he tried to put me in the left one. So we'll see how we get on now. When you do the leading to driving with uh, with horses that are um, a little a little you know upset with with the with the right eye, it can have a, an unbelievable effect. They can get there. You go. He doesn't want to go there. <coughs> okay. Did you notice there? He really wasn't sure about that. Now we've turned to the uh, leading. So he's leading. Kind of. Yeah. Now I'm going to drive him. Um, yeah, he's not driving so well, so I'm just keeping him circling here. So there he's leading, leading, leading. Now I'm driving him. Mm, he trots his a little bit. His heart would be up a little bit there, but not too bad. Um, I think I'll work on this for a little while. I need this better than this. So there's his leading. He wants me in that left eye again. You could see there, please. He's saying, yeah, look, please. I don't really want you on that that right eye. But I'm saying, no, you've got to deal with it. Let's get this there. Mm, trotted again. Didn't walk like he would on the left side. Um, so, yeah, it's really evident, isn't it? Although this is not extreme, it is evident when someone like me points it out. So that would need quite a bit of work um of trying to balance the eyes up which means a lot of nice things doing nice things there you go in the left eye again as soon as i stopped left eye so it's becoming even more apparent now but yeah things like grooming them in that eye leading them in that eye maybe lunging in the um left eye but when they give you the right eye or just go round to the right eye and just um, let them rest for a bit and then when they give you the left eye then you can go back to lunging and then work on that and they can kind of maybe it's not such a good idea for them then to have you in the left eye kind of make it their idea not to but like I say that's getting a bit technical there but uh, things like that I've played around with over the years and, and I've now here I was getting to the stage where he'd done enough really so now the bit that I really it's the hardest bit for me when I pass the lead rope over. But in all fairness, Kater did really well. She looked at the hindquarters there and, and he stopped for her. Look, he stopped for her. Um, and, and you can see he set his weight back there a little bit. Because remember this history, he pushes on her, on Katie all the time, bites her. You know, there you go. He gave the right hindquarters, stopped, yes. And he's backed up a little bit there. Now, that's pretty much the first time Katie's ever... Ever well, she's never been able to back him up, um, or get much respect from him. Uh, he won't even leave the field for her. I mean, you can imagine, can't you? But yeah, I was really pleased with that. She and there, she um, may, maybe could have asked a little softer to start with. But what I did, I gave her the flag. And said you might need the flag, and then there you go. She looked down at the feet. She didn't look him in. She didn't eyeball him. She didn't make it personal, and. Here she started walking. Oh, and he stopped for her, um, and he and she backed him up. So just those. I mean, I think we did about fifteen minutes 
um, and Tanya filmed a few bits of it, which you've seen here. But I was really pleased because it is the hardest bit for me because horses are so switched on. They know exactly who's leading them. And uh, like I say, there's always history. So it's uh, feathers in, in owners' caps if they can carry the, these things on. Um, so I think that was about it with, um, with the exercises for, yeah, that was it, I think. That was a fantastic stop. And I thought the horse had done enough now because I've been there for, for quite a while because uh, it was quite a while up in the field before we even got to the stables. So I uh, think that's going to be the end of the voiceover bit in a second. Um, oh, I don't know what was chatting. Yes, I decided that I would take him back to the stables where we were going to debrief in the stables. Um, and, and then we're going to go... Are you going to put it back into the field, Ian? Yes? Oh, so we'll see. There's more to come. So we'll see if I've made much of a difference. Now, you stopped lovely there, by the way. I'm really pleased with that. And we're we'll going back towards the stable. things happen yeah. to show you how I dealt with it. Now, I didn't have the flag with me. It would have been easy with the flag. Yeah. We should just say, would you want to disengage and walk? Or would you want to just walk in? Do you think you'll be able to do that? Yeah. Making it his idea yeah. to, to come in rather than, what's that going to be there? Is that going to be a turn Shall I turn this off now? Or? Uh, yeah. yeah. Come on. Come on. Right. So. We're going okay. to lunch. It's our anniversary. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. So. We'll take it. No, he'll want to go back. Right? Yeah. But, yeah. You know. right. So he's I a good sort, good. really. Oh, it's only uh, Crondale. Oh, right. Yeah, not far. Not far. Try with him that he won't want to do. Oh. He won't want to. You know. He'll pull. Going back to stable, aren't we? Yeah. Well, I'm better than I thought. Yeah. I thought he might walk there a little bit. Yeah. Did you think it would be here? Same bolts, you mean plants? plants. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So now, okay, I'm going to that. So that's it, pretty much the end of, of uh, Jimmy's video. Um, as you can see, we're back in my little 
makeshift bar that we built. Um, it's a, it, it's a telltale sign that summer, well, spring we're in now, aren't we? But summer's on its way. It's beautiful here in Wales. It has been for a few days, hasn't it, Tanya? It's been absolutely it's lovely, been uh, which is great because we've got our ranch days, uh, Saturday and Sunday, which is tomorrow and Sunday. So how fantastic is that? Uh, for a lovely and day. the weather is looking Yeah, it's fabulous. looking wonderful. So yeah, with that video, uh, I've just, just had a, just done this video now and I think there's it's a good little video I mean it's very very st stubborn horse in the way it was buddy sour it wouldn't come out the field it it was getting because it was able to choose what what he did with his feet and where he went and worked out that he was stronger and as far as he's concerned he's just doing the right thing so um, it was it was good to actually make um, quite a difference to him now we have had a message back Tanya always tells me. So do you want to read it out, Babs? I will. This is from Katie. Yeah. I have a different pony. He was awesome today and even better riding too. Wow. Never that's planted good. once. I will keep up the groundwork. Thank you so much. Uh, that's, that's what I love to hear, uh, you know, because it is always a worry because I, as people know, I just go and plant a little seed and then really it's down, down to the owner continue. Uh, yes, I may have to go back. Uh, I have actually got to go back to to that um, to that ranch um, farm because two other people, the owner and another lady, watched a few things I was doing, have noticed the improvement, and they've booked in with Tanya for me to go. So while I'm there, I can obviously ask how Jimmy's getting on, and maybe there'll be a, a few things that uh, Katie needs help with. So that's that. And it, what I like about that video as well is it shows how important the timing is, when I back off, when I release, uh, when we get into a little bit of a, a storm or, 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 or a little bit lost, that I release at exactly the right time. So uh, what did I mention to you the other day, Tanya, about the time, time the release was so important? And I Mel. showed you. Mel. Uh, yeah, Mel, in fact, I'll show you a little clip now of how important uh, a ride, little riding clip of Mel Mel, um, I sold a horse to Mel uh, probably 25 years ago now, and Mel has kind of been around us ever since. She used to have dressage horses and she bought a little cub off me uh, and had a wonderful time with him over the years. He's gone now. Mel comes up and Mel has kind of adopted Nita now because I don't have much time for Nita. So Mel has took over Nita really and gives her a lot of love, which I don't have time to with everything going on. And she rides her. Now, obviously because Nita had a little injury, I can't turn and burn Nita like I used to. So Mel, she's nearly 80 years of age and Mel just loves going out with Nita, comes out riding with us. We don't go on any ha hairy rides. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, M M Mel's strength and everything isn't what it used to be, but she absolutely, it's a life wish, she says, because I said, it can be dangerous. She said, no, I just want to come with you and that. So we, we, we get, she rides out with us. Now, the other day we were riding out and it was a new place we'd never been before. It was down this bridal way and we come to quite a dodgy crossing really, but we couldn't turn back because of the cows were all in there, you, you know, it was better to go forward and it was quite hard to get across for some horses because it was quite a, a drop into a little river and it was very boggy coming out of it because of the time of year. So this clip will show you actually, I'll put this clip in. Mel was, was really, really kicking on, kicking on, kicking on to get Nita to cross it. I'd already been through and so had Darcy. And Mel, every time Nita, was thinking about going forward. Mel kept kicking and Nita kind of knows when the pressure's off is the right answer of what she should be doing when there's zero pressure, especially with legs. And you'll see what happens now and how I managed to improve things to get Mel hopefully safely across. Have a look at this now. It's, it's, quite, it's quite hairy, I must admit. <laughs> okay. Director, Good girl. 
When she goes forward, she stops. Pull her back round. As she goes forward, now stop. Now bump her again. Go on. Bump her, bump, 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 bump. Now stop. There you go. And again. Come on, Lisa. Keep bumping. Now stop. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, Hold on now, Mel, because it goes deep there. Kick her on. Oh God. Kick her on. Kick her on. Well done, wow! What do you think of that? Uh, my, I was, I was covering it up a little bit. My heart was in my mouth. So was it with Charlotte. So we're going to be a little bit careful coming across new places with Mel because obviously she's almost 80 years of age and she's an inspiration to so many. She just, she comes. She's coming today. She's going to muck the stables out and and uh, she won't take no for an answer. If I say don't do something on a horse, you, no, let me do it because I did say to Mel, Mel, stop. I'll jump off. I'll jump off um, uh, Duke, jump off the Duke, and I, there was a footbridge, and I said, I'll come over the footbridge, and I'll, I'll ride across. No, she says, I'm doing it. So and it was like, whoa, okay, okay, and I was just crossing my fingers. Uh, so, yeah. Um, uh, we need to mention, yeah. a lot of people are wondering about midnights. R midnight, right, midnight, a lot of people, yes, Tanya said she's been inundated with people asking, uh, did we manage to get midnight back from Durham? to my place and then over to Ireland because midnight stranded up in Durham, which it was an 18 hour round trip in the traffic for us. Well, no news uh, yet. There's been all sorts going on with trying to get over from Ireland and dates coinciding. Uh, so as soon as we know anything, uh, midnight's absolutely fine uh, up where she is. She's happy as Larry, she's <laughs> oblivious to it all. So yeah, when we know anything, uh, we'll, we'll certainly let you know. So there's nothing to report on, on Midnight, the stranded horse in Durham. Okay, so I think that's about it. Was them. Um, okay. oh. We're all getting ready for the ranch day, aren't yes. we? Yes. So I just want to show everyone that Red Rox is ready. <laughs> what did the cat? Yes. Ah, right. A lovely lady called Beth made Beth? Roxy her cap. What's it say? Steve Young Horseman. Let's have a look, Roxy. Steve Young Horsemanship, <laughs> written on it. <laughs> Are you a star now, Rox? Roxy. Are you a star? Roxy. <laughs> She's not very impressed, is she? No. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, right, okay. So, I think that's uh, that's it, isn't it? Obviously, I get told off if I don't say it. Yeah. If you, if you, like if you get, and get some share. Video, like uh, and share, please, because if it helps yeah. anyone, yeah. we get lots of messages saying, you, you know, you've changed the way my horse is, thank you. So if somebody, you know, when you share... Oh, and, and come on, Harriet. Oh. Still doing my job <laughs> for you. Come on, so a nice little uh, uh, little sponsor. Any Carl I Hester Jacket. Any uh, Carl Hester Jacket. Oh, yeah, that, that's nice. <laughs> that was a Mel uh, that one. Yes, Mel. Good old Mel. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. So, now, yeah, got we've got to lots to do. For the weekend. Okay, guys, happy trails. Stay safe with your horses and enjoy them. Spring here, it's horse time. Let's go.